Hey, Pastor Julian here with today's devotion. Uh, If you notice, I'm in my car, excuse me. Uh, This is my office during the COVID-19 quarantine. So uh, pardon the the background. I've tried to get get outside with some of these. um, Not today, though. So the passage we're looking at is Matthew chapter 8, verses 14 to 15. Let me read it for you. When Jesus came into Peter's house... He saw Peter's mother-in-law laying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began to wait on him. First thing I'm going to note about this uh, verse, this, uh, this story, is that I understand now why Peter was so eager to follow Jesus and leave home. And that's because his mother-in-law was living in his house. It was a joke. <laughs> Sorry, mother-in-laws out there. They may, may, be, may or may not be a couple more uh, mother-in-law jokes in here. Um, so, so Peter's mother-in-law was sick. She had a fever, and she was so sick she had to lay down in bed. Uh, a fever during biblical times like this was very serious, especially for someone who was older. Uh, This could be life-threatening, potentially fatal. And so, when Jesus came, he saw her affliction, and he touched her hand, and the fever left her. So all Jesus had to do was just touch her hand, and that fever was healed. We're dealing with, uh, with, with a lot in our world right now with the coronavirus and, uh, and anxiety about it, and worry about it, and and other afflictions as well. God is more powerful than the coronavirus, more powerful than any other illness or disease or affliction in this world. And so, number one, I want you to know that. Number two, I want to point out that after Jesus touched her and the fever lifted, she got up and began to wait on him. Many of us have that relative who is super hospitable, uh, that when you go to their house, they're they're just waiting on you hand and foot, and they're so happy to see you, so happy that that you're there with them. My, my, My relative was my Aunt Angie. Whenever I went over to her house, oh, come on in, come on, come sit down, sit down at the table, let me get you something to eat. And she would she would go and uh, get some, get me something to eat. Oh, do you want this? And I would say, Oh, that sounds nice. I don't have any. Let me go to the store. And she would run down to the corner store and and get me stuff and bring it back. Um, she would she would go out of her way, and she received great joy from that hospitality. But see, here's the thing: my aunt Angie wasn't the only one called to hospitality. Uh, everybody is called to hospitality. It's It's a huge, huge biblical um, truth that we need to be hospitable to one another. It's a violation not to be hospitable. It truly is. And it's hard to be hospitable to one another when you're crammed in a house on top of one another for long periods of time during the day. But you still need to find time to love and care and be hospitable for one another. I also want to point out here that the first thing that she did was get up and serve Jesus. Not just serving one another, that's really important, but she served Jesus. How is Jesus calling you to serve him today? And if you are not down and out, you need to be up and about, being hospitable to one another and serving others where Jesus is calling you to serve. God bless you, and I hope this devotion has spoken to you today. Thank you.